Graham Mossman from Glasgow, Peter Leith from South Shields and Tynham Weir, Phil Frackley from West Strait and Middlesex, Beryl Franklin from Blandford in Dorset, Les Volcard from Torquay, Colin Chalkley from Stevenage in Hertfordshire, Audrey Taylor from Walsham on Thames in Surrey, Max Bissex from Mystech in Mickle Morgan, Martin Berry from Southend on Sea, Richard Breen from Kill in County Waterford, Malcolm Wall from Bristol, Simon Willis from Islington in London, John Beecham from Croydon in Surrey, Lindsay Tullock from Sutton Coldfield in the West Midlands, and Sylvia Haggart from Penkert in Cheshire are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. No previous winner with us today, so we'll start with a look at the finals board. Those of you who entered our competition with either of those scores, 251 at the top or 141 at the bottom, will hope to see no change on it today, but a winning score above 251 would change both of them. I fancy that today's winner would be satisfied with anything above 141. Let's make a start. Two questions each in the first round, one correct answer from you to survive, and we start with Graham Mussman from Glasgow. Graham, which European country has the three official languages, German, French and Italian, which reflect the country's main population groups? Switzerland. Peter, radio. Who presents All in the Mind and in the psychiatrist's chair on Radio 4? <coughs> Dr. Anthony Clare. Phil? Cathcart, Giles Scadden and Hill Head are parliamentary constituencies in which British city? Glasgow. Beryl, please. Australia, which famous natural landmark in the Northern Territory is known to the local Aboriginal peoples as Uluru? Ayers Rock. Les, please. Medicine, what is the purpose of an analgesic drug? Send you to sleep. No, it's really meant just for relieving pain. Colin, in which field is the Swiss, Johann Pestalozzi, who died in 1827, best remembered? Uh, clocks. Education. Audrey, in the 17th century, the adult, the short, the long and the bare bones, they were names given to what? I don't know. Sessions of Parliament. Max, politics. Two women now sit in the cabinet. Virginia Bottomley and who? Gillian Shepherd. Martin, what does the girl's name, Verity, mean? Truth. Richard, please. Which British novelist also writes under the name of Barbara Vine? Barbara Woodhouse. Ruth Rendell. Malcolm. The Bible, a winged bull or ox, is the emblem of which of the four evangelists? Mark. Luke. Simon, please. The approximate composition of which manufactured commercial material is 75% silica, 10% lime and 15% soda? Don't know. Glass. John? John Bunyan. Which city is Christian's ultimate destination in Pilgrim's Progress? Sorry. Uh, the Celestial City. Lindsay, in which London square does Canada House occupy the west side, South Africa House most of the east side, and the National Gallery the north side? Trafalgar. Sylvia, United States. The J. Paul Getty Museum, Disneyland, and Stanford University. Which state are they all in? California. And your second question, Graham. The Fist of God, published in April, is the latest book from which best-selling blockbuster thriller writer? Tom Clancy. Frederick Forsyth. Peter, airline codes. The letters BA are used to refer to British Airways flights. Which two letters are used as the international code for the airline Aer Lingus? EI? Yes, presumably from Aera. Phil, what name is given to the branch of biology that deals with the mechanisms of inheritance? Genetics. Beryl, please. Aclepsidra, spelt C-L-E-P-S-Y-D-R-A. Clepsidra was an ancient device for measuring what? Water. Water was involved, but it wasn't for measuring water. No, but it was measuring time. Les, please. The United States, Augusta, is the capital of which American state? Florida. Maine. Colin, the Romans called it Mare Nostrum. Mare Nostrum. What do we now call it? Salisbury. The Mediterranean Sea. 
Audrey, in English law, what is defalcation? Spelled D-E-F-A-L-C-A-T-I-O-N. Defalcation. No, I don't know. It's the illegal use of money by someone who is not the owner, been trusted to look after it and uses it for other purposes. Max, there are two major race courses in Merseyside. Aintree is one. What's the other? Sefton Park. Haydock Park. Martin, what was officially abolished in the USA by the 13th Amendment to the Constitution in 1865? Slavery. Richard, France is divided into 22 regions. In which region is Paris? Same. Ile de France. Malcolm, please. The monarchy, representing sovereign power, the cross on top denoting Christian rule. What did the Queen carry in procession in her left hand during her coronation? The orb. Simon, please. The House of Commons. The name, please, of the Labour chief whip in the House of Commons. Foster. Yes, Derek Foster. John, in which city does Yorkshire Television have its headquarters and main studios? Mm, um, Halifax. Leeds. Lindsay, films and music. Which American composer won Oscars for his film scores for The Way We Were and The Sting? John Williams. Marvin Hamlish. Sylvia, natural history. Which is the most abundant order of mammals? Homo sapiens. Rodents. <laughs> Six down, nine to go. Laura, please. And they are Les Volcard, Colin Chalkley, Audrey Taylor, Max Bissex, Richard Breen, and John Beecham. And the remaining nine contestants, too, still have their three lives intact. A correct answer to this question that we can start nominating, Graham. The arts. In which British city does an annual fringe festival feature over 500 companies, nearly 10,000 performances in more than 150 venues? Edinburgh. A number, please. Um, number 11. Malcolm, this is a mixture of opera and pop. Which former member of the pop group Police recently saw the world premiere of his one-act opera, The Cask of Amontillado? Sting. Stuart Copeland. Again, please, Graham. Um, number 12. Simon, where in London do the annual promenade concerts traditionally take place? Royal Albert Hall. A number, please. Uh, four. Television Beryl, which ITV drama series is set in the 1960s around the policeman, Nick Rowan, and his doctor wife, Kate? It's called Heartbeat. A number? Number three. And Phil, the army. For what do the initials R-E-M-E -E stand, Remy? Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. A number, please. Number nine. And Martin, what does John McCrick do on television? Horse racing tips. Yes, he's the chap on Channel 4 with all the tic tac. A number, please? A number 12, please. Simon, the USA, the Latin motto, a pluribus unum, appears on the great seal of the United States. What does it mean? Protector of the faith. It means one out of many, one nation out of many states. Again, please, Martin. Number three. Astronomy, please, Phil. Which planet is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Venus. A number, please. Fifteen. Uh, Sylvia, what at Oxford University is named after the 16th, 17th century English statesman and scholar Sir Thomas Bodley? The library. Bodleian, yes. A number, please. Number three, please. Uh, Phil, the name of a tribe of ancient southwest Palestine is used to indicate someone who is indifferent to or hostile to culture. What name? Philistine. A number, please. 14. A game of golf, Lindsay. In golf, what is the opposite of a slice shot? Chip. A hook. Again, please. Two. The monarchy. The House of Normandy, Peter. The House of Normandy reigned in England during which two centuries? The 9th and 10th. 11th and 12th. Again, please, Phil. 11. Children's literature, Malcolm. The name, please, of the doctor who is the hero of 12 books by Hugh Lofting. Dr. Doolittle. A number, please. Um, number one. Political quotations. Which British Prime Minister in 1970 coined the phrase, 
one man's wage increase is another man's price increase. James Callaghan. Uh, Harold Wilson. Again, please. Uh, nine. Currency. The French franc is made up of 100 what? Cents. Uh, no, centimes. Uh, they're different. Again, please. Uh, three. And Phil, please. Battles. Shiloh, Harper's Ferry and Appomattox River were battles in which 19th century war? Indian Wars. Uh, the American Civil War. Again, please. Uh, four. Beryl, Thomas Lineker was responsible for the founding of which royal college in 1518? Eton. The Royal College of Physicians. Again, please. Uh, Fifteen, please. Uh, Sylvia, Berry Pomeroy Castle, Totnes Castle and Tiverton Castle. Which county are they all in? Devon. A number, please. Uh, number nine, please. And Martin, English law. If a defendant is said to be mute by visitation of God, mute by visitation of God, what does that mean? Struck down? Well, <laughs> not really, no. Uh. It means that he's suffering from some physical or mental impairment that stops him pleading to an indictment. Again, please. Uh, number 14, please. Uh, Lindsay, what is the name of the famous great Byzantine-style basilica of Venice? Uh, St. Mark's. Yes, or San Marco. A number, please. Um, three, please. Uh, Phil, literature, the naked and the dead, the executioner's song, tough guys don't dance. The American author, please. Raymond Chandler. Norman Naylor. Again, please, Lindsay. Eleven, please. Malcolm, which member of the President's Cabinet is head of the Department of Justice? Lord Chief Justice. The Attorney, Attorney General. General. Again, please. Um, Fifteen. Sylvia, which world religion's basic tenets are called the Four Noble Truths? Buddhism. A number, please. Number one. Theatre, Graham. Blithe Spirit, Hay Fever, Private Lives. The author, please. No Coward. A number, please. Number 12. Medicine, Simon. The word neonate, N-E-O-N-A-T-E, -E, neonate, is used to describe an infant during the first how many weeks of its life? Six. Four. 28 days. Again, please. Number nine. Martin. The first in the world, opened in London in 1863, ran from Paddington to Farringdon Street. What was it? Underground service. A number, please. Fifteen. Botany, Sylvia. Often used to make mats and matting. What is the strong fibre of coconut husks called? Coir. Again, please, Martin. One. This is English law. What name or title is held by the solicitor who, under the direction of the Attorney General, gives legal advice to the courts on difficult or disputed legal problems involving divorce. The title is The Queen's Proctor. Again, please. Number three, please. Television, Phil. The name, please, of the host of ITV's film, video and TV review, The Little Picture Show. Mariella Frostop. Number, please. Two. The Bible, Peter, in Christian tradition. Who are Caspar, Melchior and Balthazar? The three wise men. Yes, the Magi. A number, please. Number 15. Sylvia, music. The title, please, of the musical work by Saint-Saëns in 14 movements for two pianos and orchestra in which each movement depicts a different animal. No. Oh. Uh. turn. No, it's called the Carnival of the Animals. Again, please. Number 14. Lindsay, film. Presumed Innocent in 1990, Patriot Games in 1992, The Fugitive in 1993. Who starred in those three films? Harrison Ford. A number, please. Number nine. The Church of England, Martin. In the Church of England, what is an exeat? Spelled E-X-E-A-T. Exeat. An accompaniment to exit from the church? No, it's permission from a bishop to a priest to leave the diocese or to change diocese. We did get to 12 down, 3 to go, and after the break, Peter Leesk from South Shields, Tyne and Weir, Phil Drackley from West Drayton in Middlesex, and Lindsay Tullock from Sutton Coalfield in the West Midlands will be here for the final. Why don't you all out there try and join us?
surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Peter Leesk, a charge nurse from South Shields in Tyne and Weir. He works in the special baby unit of the South Tyneside District Hospital, and in his spare time he enjoys reading, fishing, and taking part in pub quizzes. He also likes to visit Scotland, and when he's there, try as many single malt whiskies as he can. Phil Drackley, a computer operator from West Drayton in Middlesex. He works for a wallpaper and furnishings company, and one of his hobbies is photography. He also enjoys motorcycling and camping, and last June he combined these two interests when he entered the Simmer Dim Rally in the Shetland Isles. And Lindsay Tullock, a computer specialist from Sutton Coalfield in the West Midlands. She likes travelling, especially to the Greek islands, and so far has visited 17 of them. She also enjoys films and reading. Thank you. Welcome back. Good job we're not recording this in Scotland, Peter. Oh, well, I can play. Right, Peter, Phil, Lindsay, fingers on the buzzers. A winning score above 141 would give one of you a place on that finals board. There it is. The top 14 names are of no interest to you whatsoever. Bill O'Connor's score at the bottom is what you're after. Unless, of course, you also have ambitions at 251 at the top, Peter Fillingham's score. First of us gets a chance to answer. First of you with three correct answers will open the game up, and after that, it's question or nominate. If you're happy with the rules, here we go. Current book titles. Published in April of this year, Sweet Life is this writer's first novel and is billed as an unforgettable story of money, drugs, passionate love affairs, and one woman's struggle to hang on to the sweetness of life. The name of the lady who wrote that book. <coughs> Britt Eklund. I've started, so I'll finish. Whose famous catchphrase is that, Peter? Magnus Magnuson. Folk wisdom. If you leave a cold alone, it will last seven days. If you treat it, it will be gone in how long? Peter? A week. A week, yes. Sport. Which record was set by the England goalkeeper Chris Woods, then with Glasgow Rangers, now with Sheffield Wednesday, between the 26th of November 1986 and the 31st of January 1987, over a playing time of 1,196 minutes? He didn't let the goal in. He didn't, no? That's about 11 games or something, isn't it? Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Phil. Phil. Famous Americans, Eleanor Roosevelt, wife of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. What was Eleanor Roosevelt's maiden name? Sorry, don't know. Roosevelt. She was a niece of Theodore. Again, please. Uh, nominate Lindsay. Lindsay, please. Geography. What name is given to the parallel of latitude that marks the northern boundary of the tropical zone? Uh, Capricorn. The other one. Cancer. Again, please, Peter. Uh, nominate Phil. Phil, Sir Peter Scott, the well-known naturalist who died in 1989, was the son of a famous father. Who was his father? Sorry. Captain Robert Falcon Scott, him of the Antarctic. Again, please. Nominate Lindsay. Lindsay. Poetry. Alas, Lord and Lady Dalhousie are dead and buried at last, which causes many people to feel a little downcast. Which famous Scottish writer of doggerel verse wrote that? William McGonagall. Again, please, Peter. No, Phil. Phil, the USA, the 50 states. Which state in 1959 was the last to join? Alaska. Hawaii. <laughs> wow. Peter? No, Lindsay. Lindsay, quotation. Who, with reference to his part in developing the atom bomb, said in 1955, if only I had known, I should have become a watchmaker. Einstein? Yes, Albert Einstein. Question or nominate? I'll nominate Peter. Peter, I need an ordinal number. First, second, third, that sort of thing. A person described as a septuagenarian would be in which decade of his or her life? 90th. Ninth. No, the eighth decade. Again, please, Lindsay. I'll nominate again. Peter, please. Which famous three Latin words are attributed by William Shakespeare to Julius Caesar at his death? Et tu brute. Yes, et tu brute, said to Brutus, of course. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate, Lindsay. Still, Julius Caesar. And which other three Latin words are attributed to Julius Caesar with reference to his victory at Zela? Mm, Veni vidi vici. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> when you've got your breath back, Lindsay, please. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate, Peter. Peter, we call ours motorways. What do the French call theirs? Autoroutes. Question or nominate? Nominate, Lindsay. Philately. 
Whose portrait appeared on the famous Penny Black stamp? Queen Victoria. In profile. Question or nominate? Nominate. Language. What is persiflage? Spelt P-E-R-S-I-F-L-A-G-E. -E, persiflage. I've got no idea. It's light, frivolous conversation or friendly teasing. Again, Lindsay? I'll nominate again. Peter, which two mainland European countries have coastlines on the Bay of Biscay? France and Spain. Question or nominate? Nominate, Lindsay. Lindsay, what was found in the Atlantic Ocean off Newfoundland in 1985 at a depth of nearly 13,000 feet? The Titanic. Yes, the wreck of it. Question or nominate? I nominate, Peter. In the set of numbers, three, four and five, what does the arithmetic mean? Two and a half. The four. <laughs> Lindsay, there's a long way to go. 41 points, one life left, 21 questions. Are you ready? Television. EastEnders, Arthur, Pauline, Mark, Michelle and Martin. The family name, please. Fowler. Television again. Whose five-year mission to boldly go where no man has gone before began in 1966? The Star Trek. Captain yes, the Starship Kirk. Enterprise, Star Trek. The Royal Family. Which member of the Royal Family became a naturalised Briton on the 28th of February, 1947? Prince Philip? Yes, he was Greek. In 1735, the Gentleman's Magazine published a ballad about which devoted old couple? Darby and Joan. The Bible. At whose feast in the Old Testament did a hand write on the wall, you have been weighed in the balance and found wanting? Uh, Belshazzar. Well, there you are, Lindsay, a winning score of 81, no place on the finals board, nor the grand final, but if you'd like to go through all this again sometime in the autumn, <laughs> do please come and join us again. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> That's it for today, but before we go, two things. Firstly, here's how the finals board finished up. Peter Fillingham will tomorrow collect our top of the finals board trophy, that beautiful 4th century BC Greek dish from southern Italy. Andrew McGlennon, who took the trophy last year, is the only survivor from last year's grand final. And as a matter of interest, John James has been on the finals board for 60 programmes. Secondly, we had sacks full of entries for our competition, and those of you who picked either 251 at the top or 141 at the bottom, or both, will be hoping that your card will come out of the hat when we make the draw before tomorrow's grand final. We'll be back tomorrow at 4.20. 4.20, not 4.30. If you switch on at 4.30, you'll probably have missed round one. And it promises to be an exciting grand final. We'll see you then. Thanks this afternoon, Oprah meets the woman who says that 50% of parents now regret having had children and talks to the people who are taking test drives as parents with other people's children.